Yo, what is up guys? We're gonna be going and buying our next Holy Relic. So I put up a poll on my channel and the poll was between Roxy and Base Valenti and Roxy won by a landslide. It's 86% to 14%. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up Roxy's Holy Relic. You guys voted for it and I agree with your decisions. So uh, before we do this, check out her CC. It's 51,000 or 51.7 thousand. Um, to be fair, her closet's not completely maxed out yet. I got like two outfits maxed out, three weapons maxed out. I need an extra weapon. And... Uh, one element maxed out, so I'm missing quite a bit of CC there. I'll get that done eventually, but I want to make sure I max out my other character's CC first before diving into Roxy, but she'll be the one I do after I max out MK2s and base decents. So let's go ahead and pick up this Holy Relic. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And before we pick it up, what this Relic's going to do is not have any special effects, just boost the stats. So she's getting a 6,000 HP, 500 defense, and 850 attack. It's going to help her out with her basic stacks overall. So, And it looks nice. Uh, so here's my resources. We we looking like we good. Uh, we're going to get another free one soon, so I'm just going to hold on to the free one for a while. And wait for the next Awakened character. This will be the last relic I get for a while. There's a chance I get based with Lenti's next, but we'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, change it because that looks amazing. And let's see what our CC is now. 55,000. It went up 4k CC. So this is a 4k CC stick for free. That's pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and use her today in PvP. And uh, hopefully we do good. What do we got here? We have the one, Gother, and Greater Melee. Higher CC, but I ate for evasion food, so it's fine. So, I do have my surprise jack o' lantern, which is going to probably be my best ability for Roxy's, just for the AoE. Her single target might not be as helpful, so we'll see what we can do with it. They are going to kill, try to kill Lilia. Seems like that's everyone's like number one mentality when they fight my team is just to go for Lilia. I mean, it's fine, but I don't know. Do you? I guess. So let's go like this. Let's just see how much the damage. Oh, he got his ultimate that fast. I got dissolve. I'm gonna go ahead and just AOE spam and get that dissolve going. How much does this do with level one? Ninety-one thousand. It's not the best. Not the worst though. Definitely did a lot to be honest. Like out of all the attacks, Roxy's did hit did hit the hardest. It's not bad. Pretty good damage, especially if we can just AoE spam again. Uh, there's Roxy Pumpkin Bomb. No Pumpkin Bomb to use. I could rush for ultimate. Since I have no Dissolve, I could definitely rush the ultimate. His AoE is better, obviously. I think we just go for the one kill there, here. Or go there to get rid of that passive. Probably just should go for the one. Can't do anything yet. Go like that. Um, let's just go for the guaranteed, like, damaging play. All in on, all in on the one. He should be dead. That's good damage. Like, it's not bad. But I mean, she already hit hard. One more crit would have killed him. That would have been great. He still has the passive from Gother, unfortunate. I think... Oh my god, he's got Goddess Liz. Of course he does. I do have a Pumpkin Bomb, but honestly, I think Roxy and Lily are just dead at this point. Because Melly's everywhere. But is, is he gonna triple? Is he just gonna AoE? Yep, seems so. Man's just AoE spamming. All right, we can kill. So we can kill him twice at least. So we go like this. I'm gonna get rid of Gother. I don't just dissolve him. Honestly, it'll kill him. Just revive, then we do this to kill him. We 
We can dissolve his ultimate at least. Uh, there's a chance we lose her here if he does that again. Okay, nice. We need to kill Elizabeth as fast as possible so Mono has got less pressure on her. I think what we'll do actually is just this. And then this. Hopefully this kills Elizabeth so we have a chance. Nice, we have a chance. He, if we can control his ultimate, he'll run out of his passive eventually. And we're full HP, so if he doesn't get a level 3, I think we're decent shape. We just gotta apply Corrosion every turn and all the day metal a little bit here. Get Mono's ultimate and go for Easton's as well. See what he does. As long as he doesn't fuse back into it, that'd be great. I could rush for... Easton's ult to pop the instead of corrosion, just apply the oxidize because he's got so many cards. It would probably be better that way because he's gonna try to kill her. At least this way we can heal her up nicely and get hopefully get some nice fusions. There you go. He's got another level three in his hand, so of course he does. Okay, we have, we have our ultimate. We can use it to be great. We can use it, but we gotta dissolve him again. Um, dissolve. I'm gonna go ahead and just get the corrosion on him as well. And just go for two ults and try to kill him in one hit. Just gotta live one more turn. There you go. Two ultimates to deal with now. I don't know if we can just straight up kill him though. Got a lot less defense. Uh, he's just been spamming those out, huh? Okay, so we have to kill him here. What is his what is his stacks? Or what is his alt level? 2-6. We're not threatened by that completely. But like that. Oh, we should definitely kill him. Okay, that's game one done. That was a long match. Check out Roxy's damage before she died. Uh, damage. Number two. Uh, not bad. She didn't really get that many attacks, so it's not bad at all. What do we have here? Oh, giants with... Okay. Uh, does he have evasion food on? I kind of want to just... Actually, what if we dissolve them, obviously. I'm gonna go AoE Corrosion first, Roxy Pumpkin Bomb, and then... Lily AoE, I think. Hmm... That's pretty okay damage. It's not like nearly as good as like Traitor Melee, don't get me wrong. Traitor Melee does a lot more, but it's something. Uh, We're getting unlucky with the Pumpkin Bombs, so that sucks. We do have two presents at least, so we could utilize that with Corrosion and start going for that. He's going for... That was interesting. Okay, we do have AoEs to use at least. Can we break his Taunt as well? We might be able to. What if we did like this? Boom. Um, I want to throw out the guard break, but it's fine. Like that, I guess, and just move our hand around. Make sure that AoE damage is rocking. If Mono was able to crit more consistently and ungeared, I would. Oh man, she'd be so good. Alright, we moved him out of the way. As long as he doesn't have Goddess Liz in the back, this should be a fast match. No, oh, of course he does. Well, we can kill her fast. We do have Roxy Pumpkin Bomb, uh, AoE Corrosion, and a single target from... Uh, Mono, so we could probably pop her passive this turn. I think I might throw out the AoE Corrosion last. 
because I, if I go for the kill, I want to make sure she dies, right? Holy crap. Yeah, that's, that's melee for you. He just one-shots your line. Because, you know, balanced. Um, let's see. I think we stick with the plan. Because we might be able to kill a lot of Sluice here. Oh no. Fine. Grother and rocks you your alright, Grother and Liz are like on their deathbeds, so if we can just uh rely on Mono to kick up that damage a little bit, we'll be okay. Of course he's got enough rank up. Luckily, she's able to tank that really nicely. But he's gonna have another one. Because he always has another one. Will she tank that too? Let's go. Nice. I don't have an AoE. Ah, I do. I'll use this. Shoot, what's his alt level? Am I screwed? That's 1-6. I'm not screwed. Cool. Uh, we'll go like this. I don't know if I should rely on her too much. I'm gonna actually use Roxy here and try to get her another orb. There's the revive. There's the bleed. And then we kill go there for the passive to remove it. There we go. We have to deal with stuns now, but she's one HP, so. Just can't get the pumpkin bomb, but I got a level three paint smash. Will be pretty interesting if she lives this to see it. It's gonna hurt. Oh, Roxy's the only one to die there, though. Okay. Still healthy. Good to go. Nice. Uh, I think we just kill her with this. And then we go on with this. If we're lucky, we fuse into another dissolve. Got some crits on him too, so the bleed and the corrosion should do a lot of damage. I think we just win this due to debuffs, to be honest. You can't rush his ult, because I can control his ult. And we can guarantee put the debuffs on him. We can heal her up just fine. There it is. Yeah, Roxy's okay. I mean, she's dying, but this is, like, to be expected. Oh, nice. We got up two Roxy pumpkin bombs. That'll be fun to use. If she lives to see next turn. I ate for a red mine. Um, so. I would like to get a boost in my... That's but You know, every team has this lineup. It's a traitor melee. Go through and some type of single target. It's just what it is, right? Meta is so boring right now. I hate this meta. Not a fan. So boring. Just big damage turn one. That's the meta. Would be nice if the devs would get their, you know, heads out of their ass and make a strategy meta, but I don't think they have the intelligence to do that because their creations have been really, really lazy lately. Like, don't get me wrong, Melee's great for PvE content, and I really come for that, but like. <laughs> He just does too much damage in PvP. And, like, King was, you know, at least semi-balanced. But, yeah, if you got level 3 turn 1, it would be rough. But he wouldn't just kill you with level 1's turn 1, you know? There's a little bit more strategy behind it. Just, uh, just single target, single target AoE. It's just kind of a shame that uh, 7 Deadly Sins PvP meta is so boring right now. It, and it is boring. Like, this, this meta is terrible. Only whales like it because the games are over so fast so they can farm. I think we can still kill the one here. I'm gonna double up on the AoE. I should have just used the level 2, honestly. Fine. Roxy carry much? Wham. Almost killed Gother, would have been sick. That was the plan. Oh, I got dissolved. Uh, King is in the back, so speaking of. Uh, Roxy's pumpkin bomb is pretty good against it. 
but hopefully he didn't draw into any king cards so we can get him gone before he can get started. He got one. Of course he did. And he inked it up. He got a level three? King players, man. I swear. Always the same. Yay for you. Nice. Break the shield. AoE. Roxy's gonna die, so... I'm gonna rush for the mono ultimate. He did break it, at least. Now he's got two attacks, but he's got three, three cards that are old, well, two. So one of those cards were Gothers. No pumping bomb for Roxy since the beginning of the game, huh? How does he manage to get King inst on the field instantly, and then instantly just get level threes, just like as he like literally got to the field? He had three of them. Well, those are level twos, I think, but y you know what I mean. Like, he just managed to get king cards that fast. Kind of insane. Kind of insane. You know, his card rates are up. And he still sucks. He came to the field last and still got his ass wasted. Nice fuse. Uh, if he's a 1-6, we could probably win this. He didn't really stack his pass up either, so we'll see. 1 6? Yep, 1 6. Let's see what happens here. Should be able to shred through him decently fast. Hopefully, we fuse into a level 2 AoE. Oh. I was hoping to get my ult really fast, but it's fine. We can tank him at least. We should do decent damage of Spike coming up to Spike because he's got like no stacks. He's got one set of damage reduction. Like, Mono should be okay here. He can't even critter at the moment. Nice. We just gotta survive this, which I think we should be able to. This should do nice damage. If she could crit more consistently, it would have killed him, but it is what it is. There's the ult. Uh, yeah, yes. Guarantee crits. Not even half helping me. Killed him up nicely though. I'm gonna go for the guarantee, just crit. And I think that's game. It was a good. It was a good try, but your team, my friends, was destroyed. Uh, I think that's gonna be it for the day, guys. Uh, Roxy's relic is, it's good. Probably a lot better than geared. We'll do a geared video on her soon, but like. I don't know. I, it's decent for CC because it gives you 4k CC, not 5k, 4,000 CC. And it's probably a little under 4,000 CC. Uh, the stats do boost her, you know, attack defense a little bit, HP. It, it's an okay relic. I don't think it's insane. I think if you like rocks, you can get it, but not a must have. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. My name's Justin. I'm signing off. Peace.